What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review in the WandaVision series. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. This episode is accurately titled, We Interrupt This Program. In this episode, it's all the behind the scenes of what happened in the first three episodes, how Wanda has been seeing things come to color, He's, she's hearing voices and Monica Rambo being a sword member. We see sword for the first time and the police, Jimmy Wu, who we know from Ant-Man and the Wasp and Darcy Kat Dennings returns in here. So the episode opens off right with a bang. We see Monica Rambo in present time after the events of Endgame, everybody coming back from the snap or the blip. And when I saw that whole entire sequence go down, I'm like, is this during Infinity War? But we see everybody coming back from the snap. So this must have been taking place when that big epic moment in Endgame was going on where all the heroes came back. We see Monica ask a nurse where her mother is. And she said, your mother's dead. She died of cancer. And so we this full entire episode is from Monica Rambo's perspective. So then we cut to three weeks later and we see Monica. She's a sword agent. She's getting assigned to this case. So everything that is happening now is before all the WandaVision stuff goes on. And we know it's in this town of Westview, New Jersey, and that there's this static field surrounding the whole entire town. And so Monica is assigned to discover what is going on behind this and who is involved. Randall Park does return as Jimmy Woo. We know he was Scott Lang's parole officer in Ant-Man and the Wasp, and so he comes into the show trying to discover what this static field is, what this heck is going on. And so Monica touches it, and then she gets sucked right into the world, which we know she's in the show. So then S.W.O.R.D. and the police have been able to get this base camp, basically, to figure out what this thing is, and then we see Darcy show up back again, Kat Dennings, from the Thor movies, and she's there to help as well, and she discovers some things that they don't, and that it's this sitcom world, which we know in WandaVision, and then they discover that Wanda Maximoff and Vision are both a part of it. We wondered in episode two what that red colored sword logo helicopter drone thing was doing in there. Well, that question's answered because swords send in a drone in there to see what Wanda and Vision were up to. We were wondering who was this guy in a hazmat suit that comes out of a portal. Well, that question's answered. They send somebody in there. So every question we had in the first three episodes is S.W.O.R.D.'s involvement, what are they doing, who, who is this person talking to Wanda, we know that's Jimmy Woo, they get all the names down of the people who are in this world, and then they discover Monica on the broadcast, and we see that throughout the whole show, and they see Monica is with Wanda, and the episode where Wanda's questioning, who are you, how do you know about my brother Petro, how do you know about Ultron, and so we see Wanda using her powers and we get this question answered. It's kind of a little blip. They don't show what fully happened to Monica and how she was thrown back in to the real world. So we all know Wanda is using her powers. She is using this sitcom world and using it for her own pleasure. We also see this little glimpse of Vision being a dead corpse when Vision says Wanda she turns around and sees Vision being a corpse, like he's dead, his face is splattered, and then it just goes back to normal. So we obviously know Wanda is doing this all by herself. She's using a lot of dark powers, and it's really bad. But we don't know yet if someone's making her do it, or she's doing it for herself, just so she can't move completely on from Vision. We know stuff is going on, we just don't know what yet. But we got answers confirmed that yes, Wanda is imagining this whole sitcom world and that S.W.O.R.D.'s involvement in the police. I'm very much speculating that, again, Wanda is discovering that she's using these dark abilities and she's going to do something about it. Or we may see a potential villain we haven't seen before that is forcing Wanda to do all of these things come into battle. And then I project Doctor Strange will show up in the final episode 
trying to get Wanda to stop doing this and that'll of course set up Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. With Wanda using all these abilities, could the X-Men enter the cinematic universe this way? The, the multiverse in Spider-Man 3? There's a lot of speculation of what could happen. And this episode gave us a lot of answers. This was a fantastic episode. I really enjoyed it. I'm loving this show so far. And I cannot wait for the rest of these episodes. So yeah, guys, that was my thoughts on episode three. I really loved it. I'm loving the show. Again, let me know your guys' opinions on this episode. Did you love it like me? Did you think it was okay or you didn't like it at all? Did you want more questions answered? Where do you think this show is going, guys? Let's have a great conversation down below. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.